Sri Guru Namaha children, we welcome you to our online teaching academy, Ekaleva. Today we are going to learn a poem, A Thing of Beauty, written by John Keyes. He was a British romantic poet. He trained to be a surgeon. Keats decided to devote himself wholly to poetry. And his secret is power to sway and delight the readers lies primarily in his gift for perceiving the world and loving his moods and aspirations in terms of language. A thing of beauty. Before reading this poem, let me tell you the gist of the poem. See here, in this poem, the poet says that a beautiful thing is a source of endless joy. It has eternal beauty which never fades away. A beautiful thing is like a shady shelter which gives us a sleep full of sweet dreams, good health and relaxation. Our attachment to the earthly things are like a flowery wreath. There are traps which binds us to the materialistic things that keeps away from the eternal happiness. This world is full of hatred. All the people are having greed and negativity. And according to the poet, the happiness as well as the sadness are caused by the negativity fade away with the positive vibes of the beautiful things that surround us. And then the poet lists out some beautiful things which surround us. And he says that, in the poetic line, he says that it lies in the eyes of the beholder. Says that the numerous creations of God, like the sun, which gives us the energy, the moon's beauty, the trees, which gives us the shade, are the natural beauties around us. And he compares the various animals, like the sheep that surrounds us, make our world lively. And then the pretty flowers, like daffodils, make the world green and lively. And the following streams of water cool and refresh us in the hot summer season. The forests, which are full of the pretty musk rose flowers, are a beautiful sight to the eye. All these are the things of beauty. And also he compares the brave soldiers who light their lives, lives to protect their people are beautiful and inspiring. These beautiful things are like a fountain of immorality bestowed upon us by God. They inspire us to live on and to maintain our faith in goodness. A thing of beauty. So, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its lovingness increases. It will never pass into nothingness but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Bower means a pleasant shady place under trees. So this first stanza. A thing of beauty is a joy forever. Its lovingness increases. It will never pass into nothingness but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. So this first stanza, this first stanza, the poet says that beauty stays forever. It never fades away. Rather, it increases with the passing time. And then he says that, but will keep a power Beauty is like a beautiful shelter, like a shady tree under whose shade all the creatures can sleep peacefully and enjoy good health in that tree. So he compares beauty to the nature. Then, therefore, on every morrow, are we rathering? A flowery band to bind us to the earth. Some shape of beauty moves away the pall from our dark spirits such the sun, the moon. So here, every day, every marrow, every day, it is the beauty which fills us with the spirit 
to live. The beauty builds the desire in us to live and bind us to the earth. And then he says, some shape of beauty moves away the pearl here, the beauty which is created by the God. And he'll, it helps us to remove the sadness, the dark, whatever we are having, the greed and negativity, it should be removed by the God. Remove the sadness from our hearts. Trees old and young sprouting as shady boon for simple sheep such as daffodils with the green world they live in and clear rills that for themselves a cooling convert make. And then here the poet says trees the beautiful things such as the sun the moon and uh, he compares the old trees as well as the young trees are like a blessing on all the creatures by the earth what they will do the trees what they will do they will provide us with the shade as well as they will give coolingness and then they are the boon or ban for us yes boon for us right they are boon to us and then he says that daffodils are also beautiful with the green world. And then the rills, here rills refers to the stream. So the clear stream cools the long hot summer. What it does? It clears the long hot summer. And then against, against. The hot season, the mid forest break, rich with the sprinkling of fair musk rose blooms, an endless fountain of immortal drink, pouring unto us from the heaven's drink. So here, the poet, he compares the description of the beautiful things that are present on the earth, such as the beautiful musk rose, with a such a good fragrance and these are things are gifts from god for all of us they are like nectar given by god to us and these are the beauties which are immortal and gives us a reason to live on this earth despite having so many sorrows in our life so here in this poem is all about the nature as well as the beauty he come the central idea of the poem in this thing of beauty is a beauty is a heavenly tonic or drink it is an endless fountain of nectar this beauty comes in different forms like a tale a poem as well as a play and a very lovely object of nature and it soothes our spirits and gives us a good health and sound sleep and just gives a mental peace also. And also by uh, admiring the nature, it removes sadness from our lives and gives an everlasting joy. So beauty is a gift of God to all of us. And then we'll feel happy by coming into a contact with things of beauty. They make a lasting impression on us. Keats makes it clear at the outset, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. It is a constant source of joy and pleasure. Its beauty never declines or reduces. Its lovingness goes on increasing every moment. Its value reminds not at all reduced it never passes into nothingness it removes the power of sadness that covers our dark spirits so this thing of beauty in this we have metaphor metaphor bower quiet why because the calmness of a bower is compared to the calming effect of a beautiful thing and then here we have alliteration, noble natures that themselves cooling and covered. 
Okay. Any other doubts you have, children? Thank you, children. Shri Guru Namaha.